Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today I am going to introduce you to the new ProAdvisor Academy which was just rolled out on October the 18th. So if you log into your QuickBooks Online Accountant Portal, you'll notice that when you go into the training section, it's going to look much different than you're used to seeing. And that's because, and they've been talking about this for well over a year, that they are going to reimagine the ProAdvisor training materials. So that's the purpose of this video today is kind of go in there so you can see how to navigate through it and how it's changed. And it's changed considerably over what you're used to seeing. So hopefully this will help you today. Now, before we jump into this, I want to say that this is a video geared towards ProAdvisors and those of you who have a QuickBooks ProAdvisor accountant account. If you are a regular user, this will not apply to you. So I just wanted to get that out of the way up front. So before we also jump in, I would love it if you would, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel, share it with others. And at the very minimum, click on the notification bell so that way you can be informed of when I post new content on my channel. And so we have many people who sign up for my channel, even though I kind of gear it more towards the accountant community. Anyone that finds any value of anything that I share on this channel is welcome to join our family. Now, with that said, as you can see, I am in my realm and I, I figure it'd be just easier for me to show you from my realm because I really have nothing to hide here. And I wanted you to see that if you do have any of the badges or anything like that, what, what this stuff kind of looks like, because it's kind of weird to show this to you from a demo file that doesn't have anything in it. So anyway, you get to this page by going over here to the Pro Advisor tab. And as you can see, they still have the Benefits tab and then they have the Training tab. So when you click on the Training tab, that brings you here. And you're going to come to this introductory page. And this page is basically going to give you an overview to learn how to use the database and all that. And then you're going to actually enter this by clicking on start learning and what that will generally do. And, and I will give you a little heads up. I did kind of go in here beforehand to kind of see how to navigate this, but this should open a brand new tab up. So that, cause that was the other thing I was trying to figure out is, you know, how do I go back to my original tab? So anyway, it does, it opens up a brand new tab here. And as you can see, they have the certification stuff separated out from the course enrollments. So the first thing that you notice here is that you have to enroll in any of these classes in order to do the training. And any badges that you have show up over here on the left hand side. Now it looks like if you click on this, it'll pop out a new window. And I'm not going to do that right now, but I think this actually brings you to the QuickBooks Online Accountant page. Well, let's try it out. Let's, let's see what it does. So it actually brings you to your benefits and what levels you're on. So I'm not going to cover that today because that's not the purpose of us being here, but it's good to know that that will pop that out for you. So that way you can check and see what tiers you're on and all that. So anyway, let's say we are interested in enrolling in one of the certification programs. So we can just click on where it says V certification programs right here. And what that will do is it will bring us to this page where you can divide it into the foundational courses and then the specialty courses. So under the foundation courses, you can see what the levels are. And that's one of the main complaints that people have had about some of the badges is that they took away the pro advisor designation and it says that you're QuickBooks level one or QuickBooks level two. And I'm assuming based on what I'm seeing here, and what I've seen from the badge notifications that I've received via email. And by the way, if you are certified at all, you should have gotten some kind of emails certifying that you've received those levels. And a lot of people were talking about whether or not those were fake emails or not. They're not fake emails, but if you're uncertain, don't click on any links in any emails, just come into your ProVisal portal and deal with it there. But anyway, with that said, it, it shows you whether or not you've already earned this badge, but you can also go in here and continue learning. And then when you do that, you can actually go through here and start any of these levels. And apparently 
Right here, if you already know this course material, you can take the exam to earn your certificate and pro advisor points, and you will not earn any CPE credits, however. And then this little hot link takes you back to that page, apparently. And so, you know, we can continue to scroll down here. We've got certification level one, certification level two, and then this is pretty new. It's the Intuit Bookkeeper Certification. And if you want to enroll in this, you can click on here to enroll. Now, I'm not going to do that right now, but that's probably the next step I'm going to take. Now, just keep in mind, this is the Intuit Trained Bookkeeper Certification. So this isn't like an official bookkeeper certification, and I have no idea what this is. Let's click on more details just to look and see what's offered there. So it looks like it offers bookkeeping basics and how to track assets and sales, expenses, liabilities, and equity, reconciling accounts, and and then some other stuff in here. And then you from this page, you can click on enroll. And then this certifica certification programs takes you back. And then we can, and, and it looks like those are the only three courses on here. So if you click on the specialty, I would imagine that probably gets into the payroll. Yes, here we go. It gets into the payroll stuff and then the desktop cert. And quite honestly, I don't know how long they're going to continue to do the desktop cert in here. They'll probably drop that at some point and just continue to offer the enterprise certification, but I really don't know. So I'm just speculating at this point. So don't say Kathy told you this and you know, because that's, I'm, I'm just supposing at this point that eventually this desktop certification will go away and that kind of thing. So right now they're overhauling the payroll. So they're going to be offering that at some future point. And they haven't done it already. So, and like I said, there's really no way to get back to any of those pages from here. So if you want to exit out of this, you can click on it and then go back to start learning again. And that I think takes you back to the main page there. And that's the only complaint that I have about this is that there's really no way to get back. So we've already looked at this section. Now let's look at the course enrollments. And these are the courses that you supposedly don't get any like certification out of, but you can get CPEs out of a lot of this, unless it tells you otherwise. So here we go. We have advanced inventory, banking level one, banking level two, some of these other things that you can get like maybe badges for, but not really certifications for. So it's also talking about introduction to QuickBooks Enterprise. And these seem to be in alphabetical order, like someone I was reading on another site was telling me. So anyway, these, if you complete them and answer whatever the questions that, that are following it, just like they used to do. But it, it's, it's, I don't know if it's any more intuitive at this point to do it this way, but you know, certainly we can try it. And then we can always provide our feedback to into it and let them know what we like about this what we don't like about this and, and and also here we go here's an area where you can look at my history and that will supposedly allow you to see what what your history is in completed courses and of course right now I, it shows no courses completed because out of this new program i i haven't done anything and then here's a section for F, faqs so you can go through those and i'm not going to go through each of those because there's a lot of stuff to go through, but that's where you can find all this. So it looks like we've got my hub, which is that, and then we got the certifications here. And then we've got the this learn thing, which is those individual courses, and then my history. And then the FAQs here where you can go through here and I guess you can click on any of these and find out more information. And then let's see, this I guess takes you back to the main page. Yes, it takes you back to the My Hub, just like if you had clicked on that. So, and then if you want to get rid of this, you can go ahead, like I said, it's a separate tab. You can go ahead and close that out, and that'll take you back to the page that you started from. But anyway, just take some time playing around with it. And if you do want to provide feedback, remember you can go to the big gear, click on feedback, give you two cents to into it, let them know what you think. Anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon.